Bachelor Tax, Wikipedia Article Audio A bachelor tax is a tax imposed on bachelors. Although a bachelor tax has been viewed more recently as part of a tax on childlessness, which were used frequently by member states of the Warsaw Pact, historically, the motives for a bachelor tax were more varied than this. Often, a bachelor tax would be instantiated as part of a moral panic due to the important status given to marriage in these places, where speeches would be held in legislatures regarding the supposed libertine or delinquent status of bachelor men. Still other locations would find reason to instantiate a bachelor tax for racial reasons, nationalistic reasons, to help cover welfare programs or more simply as a pure revenue measure. Motives History The Lex Papia Papia was introduced in 9 AD by Emperor Augustus to encourage marriage. In particular, penalties were imposed on those who were celibate, with an exception granted to Vestal Virgins. The law also imposed penalties on married persons who had no children from the age of 25 to 60 in a man, and from the age of 20 to 50 in a woman. Riza Mai Musard was a bachelor tax instituted in the Ottoman Empire by at least the 15th century in conjunction with the Riza Mai Sift and the Riza Mai Benek. Those who fell under the tax were more likely to migrate to other areas. Migrant Musard were more likely to make their way to a growing town. In 1695, the English Parliament passed the Marriage Duty Act or Registration Tax, which imposed a tax on births, marriages, burials, childless widowers and bachelors over the age of 25. It was primarily used as a revenue-raising mechanism for war on France and as a means of ensuring that proper records were kept by an Anglican church official. The tax was found ineffective and abolished by 1706. By 1821, the state of Missouri applied a $1 tax on all unmarried men. The state of Michigan had made repeated attempts to instantiate a bachelor tax. In 1837, State Senator Edward D. Ellis attempted to pass such a bill, but the measure failed. In 1848, a petition made it to a House committee, but did not reach the floor. In 1849, Another proposal was made in a House committee that did not reach the floor. Again in 1850, another petition reached the House, but did not find a sponsor. During the Civil War it was proposed again, this time as a revenue measure as opposed to a public welfare measure, but again failed to reach the floor. It was then repeatedly brought up in 1897, 1901, 1911, 1919, with the first resulting in counter-proposals for a similar tax to be applied to women who reject marriage proposals and the final resulting in arguments that bachelors had a statistically higher rate of delinquency as opposed to other groups. The final proposed bill that also made the floor of the Michigan Congress was in 1935 before it too failed due to economic considerations of the time. Ancient Rome On February 12, 1898, Assemblyman Waller of the New Jersey State Legislature proposed a bachelor tax as a sumptuary tax, however, the bill was not passed. In 1921, the state of Montana applied a $3 tax on all bachelors in the state. One of them, William Atzinger, refused to pay on sex discrimination grounds. On January 11, 1922, the state Supreme Court struck down the bachelor tax and another poll tax applicable only to men. However, 
it was done so on the grounds that the Montanan Constitution of 1889 did not grant the legislature the power to tax individual persons, and attempts to define it as a policing measure for matters of public health as opposed to a revenue measure were found invalid. Ottoman Empire In the state of California in 1934, as a response to the low 1933 birth rate in California, Minister of Finance Roland Vandegrift proposed a $5 to $25 bachelor tax, but the measure did not succeed. In 1919, South Africa imposed a bachelor tax for racial reasons in order to match the white population growth with the black one. In 1923, the town of Repellen, Germany passed a bachelor tax of 2,000 marks per month. However, this law was quickly overturned by federal authorities. England A bachelor tax was levied in Italy from 1927 until the fall of Mussolini in Rome, Indiana 1943. United States in a speech given by Benito Mussolini on May 26, 1927, the tax is referenced to have garnered 40 to 50 million lira, but that the purpose of the tax was a race-based pronatalist policy. South Africa By 1936, Italian bachelors paid nearly double their normal income tax rate. Germany in 1999, the mayor of Vasto Girardi, Italy proposed to reinstitute a bachelor tax locally. In 1946 Poland introduced Bykowie, which was a tax on childlessness that included a tax on those unmarried above 21 years from January 1, 1946 to November 29, 1956. It was later extended to those over 25 years of age until January 1, 1973 when it was repealed. It formed a part of communist nautilist policies and other taxes on childlessness that were instituted in the Soviet Union and Romania at around the same time. A childlessness tax was enforced from 1941-1990 although the tax was applied to all childless persons, it was applied to childless men from 25 to 50 years of age, but childless married women from 20 to 45 years of age. The tax was income-based and took 6% of the childless person's wages. Between 1991 to 1992, the tax was only applied to men before the tax was revoked due to the dissolution of the Soviet Union. In 1986, some time after the population increase from the Decreti I-770 generation, a celibacy tax was instituted. The law continued to be enforced until the Romanian Revolution of 1989. Italy Poland Soviet Union Romania <laughs>